Hey, what's up? This is Dilio coming to you with another video, and I'm about to talk to you about some software that I don't want anybody to know about because I'm very excited about it. But if I were to not tell anybody about it, that would be a scarcity mindset. And over here at Dilio T2K, we like to roll with an abundance mindset. And so I'm going to introduce to you a new software that just came out called Rompler. <laughs> Okay, so what Rompler does <laughs> is, is very interesting and I got a flow on this thing because for a long time I've been looking for ways to do plugins. Let me just give it to you straight what it does first. So first of all, it's a it's more of a, a platform that enables you to design and create your own plugins and export them to VST3 on the PC side and also create a Mac version on the side. Now, before I was able to really do this, uh, you know, I was really trying to learn how to code. I did a plugin. I created a plugin with a piece of software called Synth Edit back in the day. That's how you got the legendary Dilly Bass. If anybody knows about Dilly Bass or still using it, let me know in the comments below. And it was hard back then, but I stuck with it and got through and was able to create my own plugin on there and put it out. And for a long time, I was checking out different platforms and different ways to do plugins. Uh, there are companies that would allow you to hire them to make the plugin for you. And I thought it'd be sort of a difficult long-winded process first it was a higher cost to it and then the second thing is is that you know that just that long distance back and forth like yeah i really wanted to be more hands-on with it and with rompler now we have a platform that's more hands-on with it and so i've been kind of just scarring the web and 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 i've tried you know i tried to learn how to use the juice thing and the whole microsoft c plus plus coding thing I don't have a coding background. I hate to admit that, but I don't have a I don't have a computer coding background. But if but I do have more of an audio synthesis background where I'm able to take different perimeters and sample different things. And I find I wanted to find a way to serve the community, um, serve my audience in a way like how I did with the Dilly Bass and create cool sounds that producers could use and jam and, and take off. You know, and people have done that. And now. Um, we have this platform called Rompler. So I'm going to show you on the screen. And I'm just going to keep on telling you a little bit about my background with it. So this is Rompler, and you got three main tabs right here. And the cool thing about this is that it's actually a living platform. So you got your mapping editor. This looks familiar. You know, this looks like how things can be mapped on Contact or on all the other stuff. Uh, even key groups on the Akai platform. You got the GUI editor which shows you how your plugin can look like. You can edit all this stuff, create your own knobs, create your own things. And then you got the audio MIDI settings where you can preview what you're doing and things of that nature. And you know, for a long time, I was trying to learn how to code with Juice and then you had to register the software. And if you, only, if you made a certain amount of money, then you had to pay for certain licensing and things like that. Um, and for a long time, just the whole plugin making game was sort of locked up unless you had the money to sort of buy your way in and yes you had tools to lock to teach yourself and it was a strong learning curve for me to get the microsoft visual studio to work with the coding and the c plus plus because i was actually trying to dip my feet into that but um i didn't really have a lot of patience for it and time you know amongst everything you know with all these obligations and so you know i was looking for more like kind of like a more of a drag and drop do the coding for me i'll take care of how it sounds i'll take care of how it looks but but do the coding for me and this platform this platform does it and i'm really excited about it and i just like i said i wanted to, to have that and i think that's and i have to speak on that because i think that's just how it was you know like native instruments you know great company right great sounds and stuff like that but what native instruments what i don't see them doing is a a school for creating your own vst plugins right that would and understandably so because why would you want to undercut your complete sales by teaching your customer base how to make their own products that you're making for them and on top of that it's probably very complicated and probably takes a more formal educational environment even though a lot more people are learning things online it probably takes a little bit of hand holding to for the layman or someone who doesn't do coding and create plugins to get them to where native instruments would be at or other plugins like like Omnisphere, you know, no no platform, but Studio Link's done something different that really kind of raised my eyebrows with this platform and say, I'm like, wait a minute, you guys were 
almost being a company to to go to to make plugins and I wanted I wanted my chance to to make my own plugins make sound cool because I was nitpicking at certain flaws with this plugin and that plugin I was like well if I was doing a plugin I would make sure that the waveform worked like this now it's like all right here you go the 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 steering wheels in your hands how are you going to drive and so now it's like oh I gotta I gotta I gotta get right I gotta get my graphic game up I gotta get my knob game up and here are Rompler. So what this does is sort of democratizes the VST plugin market uh, for a lot of people. And so just like how it's shared with me, I should share it with other people. But it's like, but like, like how these, a lot of these companies, they kind of keep that under wraps. Like I remember there's seen one YouTuber on YouTube on YouTube that I have not seen too many people do. Uh, there's this one YouTuber who's teaching you who has these online courses and this community of those who are coding plugins and which is great but you really have to take time to learn that stuff it's not impossible um, and it's not hard to someone who has been exposed with this who has experience with this and the passion for this but for the layman unless they're able to exercise or willing to exercise that patience they're not going to learn it they're, they're not going to learn it just like just like making beats or learning how to play there's a lot of people who know how to make beats but don't want to learn how to play chords there's a lot of people that, that play chords but don't want to learn how to make beats and there's always these different skill sets and 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 so and it's hard especially if you're really good at something it's hard to not be good at things i think that's for any human being you know and and starting from that but if you keep messing with it i think it's a good thing and so let's look at some of this stuff right here. you got the gui Audio MIDI settings, a little bit of latency here, but let's go to the, uh, the GUI editor. I mean, you can change this stuff, you can customize it, but what I really care about is is bringing in samples to here, designing the key groups, designing, assigning the samples, making sure they play good, um, and then also you have all these effects that you can add to your plugin, like reverb chords, phaser. Um, you got delay, right? And I can tell you right now that. I want my delay to have syncing to MIDI and they don't have that there yet but this seems to be a living piece of software because I'm, I'm in a discord group and I'm learning from the, the, the guy a CEO and we're communicating which is something brand new because you know back in the day companies gave you some software and you're on your own you know unless you knew a forum or a friend to go to you're on your own but this seems to be a living project and I'm excited because I want to create stuff for my customer base customer base and for my friends who who want to support me and what i do and i want to create great stuff i have tools and i want to take all of this and put it in a container and 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 give it to my audience so that they can create and use the same sounds that i use or use the original sounds that i design on my equipment and the hard thing was was kind of creating that closing that gap of course loops is cool but then again vsts is sort of like hand in hand with be making production and things of that nature but now every plugin is made the same or, or made with the same soul you know or or and, and a lot of times it's often a one-way deal but now this puts me in a steering wheel but you got all these different things you got attack decay sustain release and i think this is a great way to just create your own sounds and to put them in the package where you can share with friends and also create some products to sell if you want to i know definitely i want to develop take my years of experience in, in designing sound and it's also kind of reigniting me to get back more into sound design now that i have a more convenient way of sharing it in a package that people can use uh some of the drawbacks that i have with this is that you know it's, it's hard to get the waveforms to to line up the way i want to but that's sort of a minutia thing and uh but i have a feeling that there's a roadmap well i don't have a feeling i've been shown that there's a roadmap of development for this which is very interesting most companies are very tight-lipped about their roadmap of what they plan to do um you know like companies you know they sometimes they'll let you know ahead of time sometimes they don't you don't know when that time will be and you know but this company sort of has been outlining their roadmap of what they plan to do and i hope that they continue because as this product gets better i'm able to deliver uh i'm able to deliver a better product to my audience or for you to do, to deliver a better product to your audience that I can be proud of and say I would use this in my production because I got it sounding good because I went through the problem the and it takes work like don't 
don't trip i mean don't don't take it like oh yeah you just no because because i care so much about this that's why i haven't really done it because i didn't really have a path to make the plugin sound the way i want to that would make me happy that would flow the way i want them to and because of that it's like i'm not i'm not going to do this until it sounds the way i want it to i'm not going to do this until i make something that i enjoy using because if i enjoy using it and you see me cranking out stuff on a live stream or something like that that means you're going to enjoy it if i make it sound good and palatable to 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 use in your production for what you want to do then that's it and oftentimes we don't see the names or the people or faces like the the crew who makes the npc one we don't know the people who are in the labs or in the office making decisions on what to put in this thing and don't put it they're not on youtube channels talking about yeah well i'm developing for oftentimes this stuff is under nda and you can't even talk about it and here you are here i am you know a music producer artist but i'm also a content creator and sound designer and i'm telling you right now when i make stuff for this and i'm going to i'm going to test some stuff out first and then when it gets right to where i want it that's when i'm going to release it but i have a lot of stuff available to me here but there's a even a lot more that's available to me that i don't even talk about that i want to incorporate into the sound design to incorporate into this stuff you know there's some i, I didn't say too much about it already but I think that it's just a very exciting thing. Um, I want this to be a secret. The, the entrepreneur that wants to monopolize the plug-in market in me wants to be solace about this. But the realist in me knows that this is too big of a secret to keep. And it is definitely an interesting uh, approach for a music plug-in company to do this. To say, all right, we just sold plugins. But now here you go. You make them. Native hasn't done that. Um, you know, Spectrosonics have. They're not. They're not. They're not. Um, and unless you had thousands of dollars to buy your way into this, you were kind of locked out unless you're willing to do the work to learn how to code. Right. And oftentimes it does take a team, you know, so I definitely give a shout out to Studio Link for this. Uh, because now I'm in the driver's seat. So now if it doesn't sound good, it's my fault. Now I'm responsible for how it sounds. And since I am responsible for how it sounds, I'm going to make sure it sounds like something I'm going to use when I release something. Or have fun and make a gag plug-in. You could do whatever you want to do. It's it's your thing. And so I'm I'm glad that this is here and it puts puts gives power to the person who doesn't have the big budget I, you know i'm not overseas i'm not a, you know i don't have that big budget to to go crazy and do do it really big but what i do have is creativity and i do have enough understanding of sound design to create my own stuff and what this is doing is creating a bridge to put that all together so i'm definitely interested in rompler i just want to share on my channel uh, because i think if you have aspirations of designing sounds yourself and it may not be now maybe a year from now you'll think about this and say oh yeah man, let's do it. and who knows if if they stay developing on this how this could be involved this is just the ground floor i'm very interested to see how it develops and goes and i think it'll be a lot of fun all right so if you like this type of content let me know what you think about this platform are you interested in making plugins are you interested in the plugins i'm going to come out with i hope you are because i will be coming out with some plugins with this platform after i finish other projects um the drum kit i'm working on y'all know about that from the live stream and uh, i think it's going to be an exciting time i'll see you guys in the next video i'm out